When I was 16 years old, finally saved up enough money for my own real fiberglass bass boat. Um, I went to the ramp for the first time by myself and I fell in the water trying to launch the darn thing. I'd grown up my whole life doing it with my dad. I was nervous, there were a bunch of people around. So if you're wanting to go fish by yourself or if you just got a boat and you wanna go launch it by yourself, don't be afraid. It's a fairly easy process. So when you pull into the boat ramp area, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pull to the side. This will allow other people to go in front of you that may be a little bit quicker or more experienced at this. So when you're pulled to the side, you wanna get a couple things ready. First and foremost, you wanna put that boat plug in. Even if it takes a little post-it note on your dashboard at first, put that boat plug in. Also, you wanna take your straps off. Um, you know, of course, you gotta get the boat off the trailer, you gotta get those straps off first. And once you've done all that, then, you know, if everybody's clear, you can go ahead and pull back into the lane. And once you pull back into the lane, you're gonna wanna pull your truck and trailer all the way up and straighten that trailer up. And once that truck is in park and the e-brake is on, you're gonna come back to your front roller, or your front winch, rather. Um, and what I do, I don't unhook this front strap until my boat, I'm in my boat pretty much, or when I'm climbing into my boat. So I'll come up here and I'll loosen this. It's still attached to the boat. And for me, everybody's trailer's a little bit different. I do about 10 to 12 cranks. So I'm gonna three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then you gotta flip this. This allows you to slide your boat off the trailer, but of course the boat's not gonna get away from it. It's gonna catch it, but give it enough slack so the bow and the trolling motor mount can clear that front roller. And after you do that, you always gotta, of course, unhook this safety chain, and then you're ready to go. So once you get done with all this, you can get back in the truck and pick up from there. And two really important safety considerations that you wanna think about, right when you get back into your truck, turn it on and roll your windows down. And this will be the one time we say, don't put your seatbelt on. Think about it, if your truck, if something happens and your truck somehow pops out of gear, you want to be able to get out quickly. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a stickler for stuff like that. I even have a glass breaker right there in my door just in case. There was a man a couple years ago locally that happened to him and sadly he passed away. So get back in your truck, roll your front two windows down and don't put your seatbelt on and you'll have a much better chance of getting out alive if something were to happen. So when you're backing your boat off the trailer, you're going back up slowly and you'll see the back of your boat start to lift off those back bunks a little bit and you'll see it float and then keep backing it up slow until your bow and your trolling motor mount clear that front roller when it clears the front roller put your truck in park put the e-brake on you're gonna come over here to this step next and you're gonna step up here and your boat's gonna be floating so you can reach up under here unhook that so now your boat's floating it's not gonna run away from you it's no big deal and then you're gonna step up here. And then once you're up here, back it off the trailer slow, find a dock, put the power poles down. You can tie it up for extra security if you want to, park your truck, go fishing.